and then you can't see that. That's why I don't like this one. Six, greater than or equal to five minus B over three. Okay. So first thing is, let's move what first? The five. Over the five. Good, Alyssa. With the five, do you add it or subtract it? Good. Now, what happens to most people, here's how they mess up. They look at the sign behind the five when it's the one that's in front of the five, right? So you are right with, not, with subtracting five. We have to minus five to get rid of it. What a lot of people do is they look at the sign behind it and go, I have to add it because it has a minus there. It's the sign in front of it that dictates whether we add or subtract. Okay, everybody good with that? All right. What's six minus five? One. One. Does the subtracting of five mean that I switch the signs or symbols? No. Okay, now, how do I get rid of a divide by a negative three? Times by a negative three. I times both sides by a negative three. And the reason why it's a negative is because you have that negative sign in the front. You have this little guy right there is what's going to play havoc with you a little bit. Okay? So when I do that, if I'm dividing by negative 3 and multiplying by negative 3, it's like they cancel each other out. Like I take them out, and I just have a V left. On the left side, what's negative 3 times 1? Negative three, yep. Now here's my next question. Do I flip the symbol? Nevada, what do you think? Yeah. yeah. I flip it over. Again, if you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to flip that symbol. Now I was telling Alyssa this yesterday, and I'll make sure that everybody knows this too. If you notice, I say the word symbol, not inequality sign. Did anybody notice that I was using the word symbol for that instead of sign? The reason is, is because a couple of years ago, like 10 or so years ago, probably even longer, when I was teaching this for kids in that were, and I say kids because some of them are older than me, out at the base, I used to teach for mine at state out at the base, and I would have college kids that when I said sign, they would think of the positive and negative sign rather than the inequality symbol, the less than and greater than. So then I made a decision at that point to say symbol instead of sign. That's why I'm saying symbol. I'm referring specifically to the less than or greater than stuff. Okay? So, the next part. <clears throat> With the little line on the bottom has this little thing like that. A mark there at negative 3. A mark here and a mark there. What's one number higher than negative three? Negative two. Negative two. Yeah. Remember when it's negative, Quentin, we're gonna we're going the opposite way, right? Yeah. And what's one number lower? Negative four. Negative four, good. Okay. Open or close circle? Close. Why? Because it's going to equal. It's at equal is the main part, right? Yes. Now do I shade to the left or to the right? Oh, I got one person say left, one person says right. Who the other way do you think? To the left? Hey, Ben, what do you think? Left? Nevada? Right. Right? So I've, I'm at three to two right now. Michaela? Left. Left? Four to two. Colin? Left. Five to two. Liz? Left or right? What's that? Left. Left. Thank you. So we're at six to two. Left. Just seven to two. Mrs. Johnson. I say right. Oh, seven to three, and I say right. <laughs> Here's why. Do you remember what I told you yesterday with Pac-Man? Yeah. Here comes the dot muncher. What's the dot muncher eating? The letter. Or the number? 
A letter. When the dot muncher eats the letter, we shade to the right. Even though, and this is what Elegance was saying yesterday, when she said, but it's pointing to the left. And remember when I wrote that one up there yesterday where I showed you that these are both the same, but it's just pointing in different directions? You got to look at which way is that going to eat. If it's eating the letter, we got to shade to the right. If it's eating the number, you shade to the left. Okay. All right, how did we do? Pretty good. Maybe had the shading wrong. Okay. Did you want me to do the other one then? Or are we good? Good? Okay. So moving on. Example number two. Has, I'm going to put a smaller pen so you guys can have more room. 6x minus 5 is less than 2x plus 11. Can you guys read that okay? Yeah. Or do you prefer the thicker? This one? Okay. So what's the difference between this one and the ones we were doing yesterday and just at the beginning? More numbers. More numbers. Okay. Anybody else? There's two X's. That's the biggest thing. There's two X's. So do you remember last week, was it, when we were dealing with this with the equal signs where we had X's on both sides? Mm -hmm. And you remember the analogy I used about me fighting with my older sister? Mom wanted me to get separated, so I had to be on the one side of the house and she had to be on the other side. Same concept. I'm not doing anything different. So you can imagine it there. It's just like an equal sign. So, Colin, which side would you like to move your X's to? Okay. Any particular reason? No. All right. Okay. I would agree with you, but just so you know, there wasn't a wrong answer. I just wanted to know why. So I, but I agree with you. I'm going to move them to the left also because the left side is, has a bigger X. Six of them is bigger than two of them. Okay? That's, I agree with Colin. Some people like to just have the X's on the left no matter what. They like seeing X is equal to bleh or X is greater than or equal to bleh. You know, so that kind of option. Me personally, it doesn't matter. I usually go with the side that's higher. So I agree with Colin. So if I move the 2X over by subtracting, what else can I do at the same time? If I'm moving my X's to the left, what else has to happen then? Add five to the 11. So I'm adding five to the other side. Nice work. All right. What's six minus two? Four. Do I flip my symbol yet? No. Not when you're adding and subtracting. You just leave it alone. What's 11 plus five? 16, good. Okay, and how do I finish it? Divide by 4. Alyssa, what's 16 divided by 4? Four. 4, good. I did not flip the symbol. Should I have? No. Why not? I divided by four. Because it's not a negative. Good. It's not negative. It's only when it's negative that you flip it, right? Now, here's the other thing that's kind of nice for you. Do you notice that there's no graphing for this? I didn't put a little graphing thing there, did I? Oops. Probably should have had one. That's okay. We have enough practice with graphing on the first six, didn't we? Are you good with that? All right. Cool. How are we doing so far? Good. 5x minus 6 is greater than or equal to 3x plus 4. All right, Quentin, 
You've been doing really good so far. Proud of you. Which side do you want to move the X's to? Okay, so you want to subtract 3x to both sides? Yeah. All right. Any particular reason why? Uh, not really. Not really? Okay. There's no wrong answer again. You just had to pick one. So, Quentin, if we went minus 3x to both sides, could I also do something else at the same time? Uh, add 6 to 4. I could get rid of the 6 also, add 6 to 4. Nice. You know what that's called? Have you ever heard the, that, that saying, killing two birds with one stone? You're getting rid of two steps at one time. Instead of me doing one step with the subtracting three and then going and adding the six, I'm just doing two at the, the same time. Okay, good job. What's two? Nope, I gave you the answer. What's five minus three? Apers. And then what's 4 plus 6? Um, OK, hold on. i got to write the right thing. So Quentin said that the answer was um 10. OK? <laughs> All right, Michaela, now what? Divide by 2. So x is greater than or equal to. Oh, Michaela, I almost forgot. Should I flip my symbol? No? Good. So what is um 10 divided by 2? 5. Nice work. How are we feeling? Pretty good. Pretty good? Everybody okay with that? Colin, how do you feel? Pretty good? Awesome. <clears throat> Next one, 8n minus 3 is greater than 4 to be plus 3. No, why do they do that? <laughs> what letter do you want to use, Alyssa? N. N or B? N. Okay. This should have been the same letter. It shouldn't be two different ones. That's just ridiculous. All right. Anybody have any suggestions on how to start? Um, distribute 4 to each number in the parentheses. Distribute the 4 into each number in the parentheses like that? Yes. OK. So what do I get? And 12. Is everybody okay with that? We're right with that step? Yeah. Colin, I know you had your hand up to answer. Or was that what you were going to say too? Nice. All right, everybody. Now what? Is it the same type of process as the last two? Yeah. If I subtract 8n to both sides, so then add 3 to both sides. Uh-oh. What's 8n minus 8n? Zero n's. Zero n's. <laughs> What's negative 3 plus 3? Zero. Uh-oh. Is greater than... What's 8n minus 8n? Yep. And what's 12 plus 3? Okay, we have a problem here everybody we have 0 is greater than 15 since when is 0 bigger than 15 never if this happens when you do a problem where you get an answer that's not true that's not true 0 is never bigger than 15 never if we are false Our answer is no solution. 
Now, just to try to remind you, I know last week it's been a while since we did this because last week, you know, having the two days off at the beginning of the week and all that kind of fun stuff. Remember when we had this where it said like zero equaled 15 and we said no? Same problem. The only difference is now we really have to, t we really have to be careful because if it says zero is greater than 15, that's not true. But what if it said zero is less than 15? That is true. So then our answer would be all real numbers in that case. So you got to be careful with those ones. And you're right, we have to distribute that. Okay, Alyssa, you are just fine. And distribute it. And then we combine like terms and see what happens. If it's false, no solution. If it's true, all real numbers. Two. 5w minus 1, less than or equal to 7, plus 10w. What do I do first? Distribute. What's 2 times 5w? Mm -hmm. Just 10. Mm -hmm. All right, good catch, 10w. Then what? <clears throat> negative 2? You didn't say that very confidently. Okay. It's more like a negative 2, am I sure about that? I shouldn't say like negative 2. I got this. Right? Yeah. Okay, so we're at negative two. We got that answer right, we're good. So for that particular thing then, same type of deal. If I move everything over, so let's say I subtract the 10w over, uh-oh, and I minus the seven over, okay, now I didn't ask you, I'm going the opposite direction that you guys have all said. I'm going the other way. I get minus nine, is smaller than or equal to zero. Is that a true statement or a false statement? Uh, true. true. It's opening up to the bigger one, right? So that is a true statement. So therefore, if it's true, then we're all real numbers. And I abbreviated the number symbol, which you can't even see. That's why this app isn't very good either. Look how much space I have to waste. Like, see that? Oh, that's the top of the screen. I have all this room that I can't use, and then the bottom I can't use it. I just wish it would work. Hey, how do you feel? Okay, so here's what I want you guys to do. Oh, not shut it off. What a moron. Oh, I was still recording though. Lucky. All right, so the next one on the problem set says 5x minus 12 is less than or equal to 3x minus 4. Go. I'll give you a couple minutes. I'm going to check in and see how you're doing. I want you to solve that one. Do not have to graph it. You just have to solve it.
Ugh, I can't walk. <clears throat> all right, so here we go. See how we did. First of all, which way do you want to move your axis to? Okay, and again, doesn't matter. Your choice. You want to go to the left? I'll go to the left too. If I move my axis to the left, that means my numbers have to go to the right. How do I move the 12? Now, something else that I didn't do today, but I did notice that a couple people were doing, and I'm going to put it in a different color. Some of you are putting that wall down there again still because you like that and it helps you. So again, use it. So first thing I got to ask you, what is then five minus three? Two. Two. Right? So just by, just because, not whatever, Quentin, when we subtracted, right? Five minus three would be two. Yeah. Okay, good. What do you get here, Quentin? Um, what happens when you, when you take a negative 12 plus a 12? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they cancel out. They wash each other away. Like, this all goes away then. Okay? Just like the same thing can be said about this one. 3x minus 3x, when they're opposites like that, they wash each other out. Then, what's negative 4 plus 12? Eight. That is the same as me saying 12 minus 4. Okay, and if, that, if that's something that we still can't grasp, whatever, again, use your calculator and it'll help you if you need to. Okay, now, Michaela, what do I do next? Bye. Good. It's still on here, though. Just not up there.